Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial on how to create an animated GIF using Camtasia and your Dropmark template. The first thing we have to do is to import the media. I'm going to import a short video and I also am going to import my Dropmark template that I created to use in Dropmark. Okay, so once you imported your media, the first thing you want to do is drag down, left click, hold and drag, and bring your Dropmark template down, and you want to make sure that it fills the whole video area, which is this black box. If it does not fit in that whole area, you can drag the corners or the sides out to make sure that your drop mark template fills the whole area. The next thing you want to do is look here for visual properties. If you do not see it, click more, drop down to visual properties and left click. And we want to come down, scroll down on the visual effects and select remove a color. Now when you want to remove a color, you come here to color, color and select the eyedropper and click left click to remove the color. This will not affect any of the plants or green outside of this box because it's a total color green and it's a green screen color. Now that this is removed, the next thing is come to your, your clip bin and you want to left click and hold and drag down your video. Now that I have my video, I can come to the video in one of the corners and resize the video where I need it right here. But I need to come back to visual properties and the angle right here on the Y, I can left click and hold or I can click individually to I get the angle of the video where I want it. And then when I have it at the angle, I can drag out the video. And then I can, on the Z, I can click to rotate the video. And at this point, you could drag up or down. And I have the video where I want it. So I'm going to come down to track two and pull it out and bring up the drop mark template to track two and the video down to track one. And I want to drag out track two to template to be the same size of the video and I am going to click the play button to test it. As you can see here's my animation. The video at this point is too long I want to shorten it so I'm going to click to play again and I'm going to let it play through into an area where I think I want to stop it and I think right there is fine so on the timeline I'm going to trim by dragging in the drop mark template and the video and I'm going to click to play it again and at this point I think that that video is long enough so now I can come up to produce and share I can click on the drop down and select custom production at this point from custom production I will click next I will come here and click GIF animation and click next. I want to make sure that the colors are automatic, the frame rate is automatic, and the loop is indefinite. You do not have to include the windows colors but I'm going to leave it and I'm going to click next. I'm going to leave it on custom size and click next. Let me go back. If you want to change the size here you can. I just think that the dimension 800 by 600 for this tutorial is fine. So I'm going to click next. I do not need to check any boxes here. I will click next. At this point I will name my animated GIF and I will select a folder here to my videos and I will click to finish and as you can see the uh, rendering of the video which is the animated GIF is happening and I'm going to let that render 
for a second or two and hopefully it's not too long uh, so you can get to see that animated GIF uh, as it's done and rendered. Okay, it's coming along 90%, 93, 99. Okay, here is my animated GIF that I created and saved in my uh, video folder. And of course, right now it's open up big full screen, so um, the, it's fine and it looks good and I'm happy with the result.